All right, Shalom, Mom. Brother Kabad back with another GMS lesson, GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible, and well. I know the Shalom, Mom, the all the sincere Akians throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, we'll get into a quick lesson. On these laws, statutes, and commandments, <clears throat> and how we're supposed to be, um, you know, um, uh, doing them, man. Okay. You know, Jake wants to know what they need to be doing to to, to please the Lord and serve the Lord. All right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, let's see if it's giving out food to the homeless. Let's see if it's, uh, you know, um, um baking cookies right and giving them out to people on the streets let's see if it's uh you know um what else people do the thing that is serving the lord um you know just things that people think that serving the lord you know we're gonna get into how you really fall to serve the lord as israelites this is Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. That they is talking about the elect of the children of Israel. Because all the children of Israel are not going to be saved on this side. Okay. From the noise of the archers, which is those missiles. And the places of drawing water, which represents slavery. Slaves draw water. They shall rehearse, which means to go over, you know, practice. The righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his village, villages in Israel, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Now, I brought this priest about first is because, <coughs> you know, you're not going to be perfect when it comes to, you know, keeping these laws, statutes, commandments. But you have to try, you have to practice, <coughs> you have to re rehearse it, man, to the best of your ability. You know, you got to do your best for the Lord. You know, Jake got to do their best when it comes to working out, getting fit, or trying to make the football team or basketball team, you know, something like that. But what? When it comes to serving you, how about Shimon Yamashah, you got to have that same energy and more. Okay? <clears throat> so, let's go on to my next precept. So, we're supposed to be rehearsing the righteous acts because we are in captivity, man. Matter of fact, let's just prove that we're in captivity real fast. There's a quick scripture on that, and then we'll go back to um, um, back to the lesson. This is a brute three and eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all thy iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. So. Behold, yet this day, <clears throat> you know, we're in the month of August 2020, all right, us Israelites, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and Israelite foreigners, we are in captivity, man. So when we read the, the scripture in Judges where, uh, uh, you know, they are delivered from the, the noise of archers and the places of drawing war, they have rehearsed the righteous acts. Yeah, we're going to rehearse the righteous acts, man. Okay. In the land where we're serving captivity, and we're serving captivity all throughout the four corners of Europe, but mainly here in America. All right, just proving that we are, you know, we're still slaves up until this very day. All right, so um, where's that other one? Since I'm here, um. So I'm here. Go and read this. This is uh, Baruch four and one. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High of God and the law that endure forever. Right? It says, All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. You see? <clears throat> and you wonder why people are getting jacked up with uh, all type of health issues. All right? It's because of what? They don't hearken to the law. They don't hearken to the dietary laws that the Lord set up for our people, man. You know? 
You wonder why people are getting shot down, hands up, don't shoot. It's because what? They're not hearkening to the words of Heavenly Father. They're not hearkening to these law, statutes, commandments, which was given to us, man. Right? <clears throat> Through your hell, Bashimi, I was shy. Let's get that real fast. This is Leviticus 26 and 46. It says, These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. See, these laws and commandments were made between the, Israel, the Lord and the Israelites, man. And Mount Sinai by the hands of Moses. You see? The Lord didn't make this with any other nation, man. You know, so when you see them eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, they can do that, man. But you can't. You Israelites, you can't, man. And we just read in Baruch that what this is the book of the commandment of the Most High. And the law that endure forever. So you got to keep these laws forever. Look, if we don't keep it now, you definitely going to keep it in the kingdom of heaven. Right? Why not start now trying, trying to please the heavenly father, man? Let's grab another one. Matter of fact, um, <clears throat> let's go to... Um, Let me see here. No, it's not what I'm looking for. Um, let's see here. It's another one. Let's go to Matthew. This is Matthew 5 and 17. It says, Think not I'm come to destroy the law or prophets. I'm not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. So the Lord saying you what? When he came back, came on the scene, he he was here, here to enforce the law, man. Then make sure the law remain intact and the prophets, man. To repose to be keeping them, man. To the best of our ability, the Lord knows we're in captivity, so we can't keep every law perfectly. But you're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts. You're supposed to be trying, you know. You're supposed to be trying, man. But that's the problem. Our people, our people don't want to try, man. We just read those that keep it should come to life. And those that leave it. Uh, are for death, man. Are left for death. Because the scriptures tell you that what? They that remain, how does it go? Uh, they that wander out the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right? Which is these other nations. Which the Lord is not dealing with. Right? <clears throat> Lord ain't dealing with these other nations. This is Psalms 147 and 19. It says, He showed his word to Jacob, his stature and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. As for this judgment, they have not known them. Praise you, the Lord. You see? So the, 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 these other nations don't know the Lord, man. They don't know our power. The Lord ain't never dealt with them, man. In a sense of giving him his word. His blessed word. No. Oh, let's grab another one. Let's see here. Let's go to, uh, let's go to, yeah. Proverbs 3 and 1. My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. You see? It's all throughout the scriptures, man. What we're supposed to be doing to please the Heavenly Father is keeping the commandments. Right? It's not hard. It shouldn't grieve you to stay away from pork, to stop worshiping idols. It shouldn't grieve you, man. Uh, let's see here. Let's get um. Mm, that's not what I'm looking 
for. Let's go get ready, go ahead and close out. <clears throat> I mean, so many. Um, I mean, here it goes again. Proverbs, the fourth chapter there, right at the top. Hear ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to understanding, for I will give you good doctrine. Forsake not, forsake ye not my law. There it goes again, man. So you wondering what you what what pleases the Lord is keeping his law, man. And you know, we, we you know you may you may not we not perfect, you know. What the scripture said, righteous man falls seven times and get him right back up. But you gotta try your best, man. You know. You gotta try your best, man. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hit the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh. Fear God. Right? And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of men. This is the whole duty of you Israelites, man. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, woman, and child. Okay? That's what we're supposed to be doing. For Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So it's going to be a judgment for you, you know, keeping the laws to the best of your ability. as a judgment for you not keeping the laws. All right. The Lord wants to see you trying, man. So now you know what pleases the Heavenly Father is keeping the law. You Israelites, man. Refrain from idols. Refrain from, um, um, um. You know, the ways of this world, which promotes sodomy, okay? Refrain from these uh, abominable foods, okay? And just turn back to the Heavenly Father, repent. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekak, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible, and Ruel. I know it's all I want with all the sincere Aki. I'm so at the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.